Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Allow us to get started. My name is Ryan Diesel, and I'm the National Sales Manager of Geotab Africa. And I will be hosting the Geotab Africa Vertical Webinar Series today. We appreciate everyone that is attending our webinar today. Our vertical webinar series will focus on customized fleet management solution, tailor-made to your industry requirements. Our solution specialist will deep dive into features across the following. The last mile delivery, which was presented by Zippo Zama last week, source and destination for open cost mining, which we'll be focusing on this week. First responder, coal chain, cement drum rotation, and rail transportation. Some quick housekeeping notes before we get started. Please note that this webinar will be recorded and will be made available for viewing on our YouTube channel. Or first, please type your questions in the Q&A section at the bottom of the webinar screen. These will be addressed in the Q&A portion at the end of the webinar. Kindly complete our webinar survey following our session today. It will automatically open in your browser once the session has ended. I would now like to introduce, he will be presenting on the source and destination solution for open cost mining. Morning, Henry. Morning, Ryan. Trust you are well and the webinar but participants. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you. Before Henry gets started, I'd like to give a high level introduction about Geotab Africa. Geotab is one of the leading telematics companies in the world offering fleet management solution. Geotab was started in South Africa in 1996 and is one of the very few telematics companies to design and to develop its own telematics software and hardware. The engineering division of Geotab was moved to Canada in 2000, becoming Geotab Inc. In 2018, we achieved 1.8 million subscribers. Geotab Africa is part of Geotab Inc and services South Africa, the African continent, and including the Middle East. As I indicated in my previous slide, Geotab achieved 1.8 million subscribers by 2018. At the start of 2020, we already surpassed 2 million subscribers. If you look at our next slide that will come in up, this is our current footprint in the African continent. With our 2 million devices, we collect 40 billion data points, as well as 100 million miles are driven daily. Without further ado, I would now like to hand over to Henry, so he can present on source and destination. Henry? Hi, Ryan. Thank you very much for that. Thank you uh, for allowing me to present uh, the source and destination. I would like to discuss a few uh, key points. Basically, uh, content. We will talk about industry, looking into open cast mines. We'll talk about solution, features, benefits, application, and a success, a success story from one of our clients. Scalability is increasingly necessary during what has been a protracted downturn in the global mining industry during COVID-19. Lower commodity prices have placed focus on cost efficiencies, stretching resources to the fullest and making informed decisions on how to successfully increase productivity. Opencast mining. Basically, opencast mining differs from extractive mining, which requires tunneling into the earth, this mining method is used when minerals are found near the surface where the overburden is relatively thin. Open cast mines are enlarged until all minerals have been extracted or the ratio between overburden and minerals become uneconomical. The cross section illustrates an open cast mine that starts from the original surface getting excavated to the bottom. I would like to demonstrate 
the sourcing destination solution with a video clip. Source and Destination is a tool for open cost mining operations. It provides an automated record of productivity by tallying loads based on the material source, loading tool, loading duration, tipping duration, and destination, all recorded in real time. These variables captured allow the user to measure irregular loading and tipping times, vehicle downtimes, and vehicle operator efficiencies. The materials management module helps identify instances of cross-tramming and can be linked to external references for resource depletion management. All this information is presented through live customizable dashboards and reports that give insights into the productivity, efficiency and costs of the operation. The system is simple to configure and has a low maintenance and administration cost. For more information, visit www.geotabafrica.com. That in mind, we're doing dashboards. The dashboard shows four different automated reports created through my Geotab in real time, where productivity managers and supervisors measure, measure bank cubic meters or tons or machine hours based on clients' requirements and reporting systems in the form of donuts or a histogram. This example illustrates one of the four reporting dashboards in bank cubic meters or tons loaded with different loading equipment. Example, a Komatsu PC-1200, a Caterpillar 993 wheel loader, or a CAT-6030 excavator. A CAT-993 wheel loader will load a truck per hour over a period of 24 hours a day, and it will give you the total of material moved per day spread over a month. How it works. Source and destination is comprised of Geotab's Go device and open platform fleet management software. The Go device can be installed across all makes of yellow machines and is easily expandable to read information from various sensors, such as the bucket tipping signal from a dump truck. The solution is able to tally loads and record different variables, such as loading and tipping times. It is also able to record the length of time it takes for a haulage machine to load and then drop off material at its destination. In addition, the device is also singled out particularly with loading and hauling equipment as well as the different types of material they carry. Furthermore, the tool is capable of measuring vehicle downtime and operator efficiency, allowing for early identification of any problems within any mining area. Machine operators are able to tag in prior using the equipment. All these stats are made available through interactive live dashboards and customizable reports. The device is powered by the machine in its monitoring and does not rely on electricity to operate. The platform also allows users to geofence areas where materials are offloaded. Additional configuration includes particular materials that are loaded into the system and are assigned to particular loading machines. In so doing, the system is able to monitor the, the machine's performances, taking into account several variables, such as the time it took the machine to get into a signed destination. Such information is referred to as the base set of data. According to Romeo uh, McKay, uh, our Gerber Tech uh, Senior Software Specialist. Source and destination is a new system. Geotab has an open platform which allows for fine-grained customization. It's a new product that we've added on top of the existing Internet of Things. We also added that the device is being used by numerous mining contractors and mines in South Africa and across the African continent and is currently running on approximately 
150 to 120 machines collectively. Illustrating the device's application on site, Mr. Wright explained that the hardware was installed on all the machines and that steering wheel or joystick, which then replayed equipment data and positioning via cell network in real time. He added that the solution was trialed over the last quarter of 2015 and implemented successfully in the first quarter of 2016. The source and destination provides GeoTab to their clients more insight on productivity analysis where the maintenance division concentrates on measurements and diagnostics within an array of information, including engine RPM, temperatures, pressure, level volts, and power selections. The production division concentrates on performance indicators that include material movement, reconciliation, time, and operator performance. Looking over the period of, of two years within a mining spectrum, the results correlated through the source and destination has resulted in increasing in operational awareness in maintenance with white listing. Productivity improvements has increased in excess of 8% and overall utilization of 5%. With that in mind, I would like to share uh, a, a text out of uh, Shane Wright's uh, impression on the solution and what value it adds. He, he says, having real-time information available on equipment performances, productivity attributes, and employee achievements result in faster improvements to the cost versus allowable model. And with this said, Thank you, uh, Evange, for walking the walk with us within the open cast mining scenario where our source and destination is basically opening up doors within different uh, avenues in mining. And uh, thank you very much for allowing me to speak on behalf of source and destination this afternoon. Henry, thank, thank you, you so much for that very informative. Thank you, Henry. Thank you so much for that very informative um, presentation. We'll now be moving over to the question and answer section. If you have any questions or answers, well, questions you'd like to post us to get answers on, please feel free now to put it in the question and answer section at the bottom. I would obviously just give you a few minutes to do so. If you would like any more information on the source and destination solution, please feel free to reach out to us with obviously the contact details that's on your screen currently right now. Henry, I see here is a question that's come through. Said, hi, Henry, I'd like to ask if you would could please let us know what does BCM stand for? Thank you, Ryan, for that. BCM uh, means bank cubic meter. When we look at uh, a piece of ground or, or, or solid, we measure it by length times breadth times height. So, uh, if you take one meter by one meter by one meter, it, give, it, it will equate to one cubic meter. And uh, if I can elaborate more, when you have one cubic meter, you need to increase to tons where you use your specific gravity or relative density of that material in order to get one ton of material. Fantastic, well explained. Um, any other questions? I don't see any questions coming through at the moment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I'd like to thank you once again for your time and let you know our next webinar will be focusing around first responder. Quite an exciting topic as well to discuss. Uh, again, thank you for your time and stay safe. Goodbye.